Hi, this is Clint with HDSLR Shooter. I want to go over a plugin I've been working with from Revision Effects software called Twixter. Specifically, I'm going to talk about how the Twixter plugin can be used to either slow or also speed up a clip without having to adjust your frame rate during shooting. To get true slow motion in video, you have to increase the frame rate to be higher than what you plan to play the footage back. For instance, if you were shooting video that you intend to play back at 24 frames per second, to get the footage to be 50% slower, you will need to increase your recording to at least 48 frames per second. Uh, with Twixter, you won't have to do any of that, and what you will get is beautiful slow motion that is indistinguishable from footage that was shot uh, with an increased frame rate. And you can make all of your tweaks and adjustments uh, simply by adjusting the, uh, the presets on the plugin. So this particular uh, project I'm working on right now is a demo that I'm doing for um, the Lens Baby system. I'm already working with you know visuals that are very uh, dreamy and uh, have a, a, a surreal look to them. And if you can see over here, I'll kind of pull this back a little bit so you can see this is the project. And what I'll be doing, just to let you know, is I'll be working backwards a bit. And as it comes around here, we show the scene of these kids that are getting up onto the uh, onto the uh, ride here. Now, initially, when I shot this stuff, uh, it was uh, you know very very fast. The kids were moving like you know uh, ants almost, and you can't really capture the what I was trying to uh, what I was trying to achieve. This is the footage as it stands. See, it's out like already, like in uh, you know just a few seconds, about three or four seconds there. Uh, so to to get something that you know was going to be something that I wanted to work with, that was going to match this project, I needed to utilize Twixter to make that happen. Now I'm using uh, Premiere Pro. I tend to try to work as much as I possibly can in Premiere. So the beautiful thing about Twixter is that the plugin is totally compatible with uh, Premiere, no matter uh, what version that you're using, either CS5 or 5.5. Everything that I have here in this timeline is essentially just clips. What I have here is I have some nested sequences that are in here. Um, this is necessary uh, to be able to utilize the, the, uh, Twixter, effect, the uh, Twixter plugin effectively. So I'm just going to double click here on sequence 13 that's nested in here, just so that you can see. And what I've done is I've uh, taken the clip that I want to use, and I'll just uh, play that there. And I've added it one, two, three, four times. Now the reason why is this. Premiere will not allow a uh, third party plugin to extend the length of a clip. Uh, you can extend the length of a clip, uh, you know, utilizing their slow, uh, slowing down the speed of the clip, uh, you know, utilizing the speed duration here, and that's totally fine. But uh, if you've utilized this before, uh, the footage is really, really choppy and is not very effective. Uh, it doesn't look very good. Uh, so because uh, Twixter is, you know, a third party plugin, what we have to do is we have to make accommodations for that. So what's going to wind up happening is then when Twixter slows this down, it's going to double or maybe triple the length of the clip uh, to get the whole thing in there. So because this is a sequence, uh, I just went ahead and I added to accommodate for that four, of, uh, four copies of the exact same clip. Then I went back over here to the sequence and I put that in here. Now we are ready to uh, go in to add uh, Twixter at this point. And essentially you just need to go to the video effects. Once you've loaded Twixter in here, you'll see uh, revision effects plugins and Twixter Pro. And you just need to drag that over here and uh, you'll be good to go. Now, the uh, as you can see, I've got Twixter Pro already in here. And uh, the folks over at Revision Effects have done an excellent job as far as like making this as hands-on as you could possibly want. Uh, however, you can also do you know something very very simplistic. For me, I, I didn't really want to go through here and tweak every uh, switch that they have here. I just utilized the speed and I slowed it down to 50%. Was going to allow me to accomplish what I wanted to. Now, uh, with that in mind. 
uh, I just uh, added that in, adjusted 50%, and it's already rendered out so you can see the effect again. We get this like ghostly, dreamy type of effect. Now, if I had not, uh, if I had not added, you know, a, sequ uh, a nested sequence in here, then the problem would have been, you know, it would have cut off probably like around, let's see, one, two, three, right there. That would have been it. Uh, if you wind up that you've added too many uh, clips uh, into your uh, nested sequence, say if I put five or six, it's no problem. You just need to trim back the, uh, the sequence that's nested here in your project. So once uh, you're, you've completed and you've got everything that you want uh, in regards to... Uh, uh, the plugin, you've utilized it, you've slowed down the footage, then you're good to go. All you have to do is render, and uh, you've got footage that, again, looks like you know you actually took the time on set to double your frame rate. So if you're interested in finding out more about uh, uh, revision effects, uh, you can just go to their website, and they are at revisionfx.com. Uh, they have a number of different uh, plugins. If you just go to the product section here and then uh, go over here to uh, Twixter, just click on that. They've got some great examples here, a lot of uh, you know information, great information on it. They also have a compatibility chart here. So depending on what your uh, format is that you're working with, Final Cut, uh, Avid, Autodesk, things like this, It'll tell you everything uh, that the software will be able to work with so you can make sure that what you're getting is going to be something you can actually use. I also have a tutorial section here which is really, really helpful. It's incredibly simplistic and uh, you just go down here, find Twixter, and you've got all of these great tutorials here. I mean, literally when I first started utilizing it, I just put the tutorial, started playing it in one window and just followed right along. Of course, they also have a YouTube channel, their Facebook page, and also their Twitter. So if you have any questions for me, feel free to uh, email me at clint at hdslrshooter.com, or you can simply just post a comment in the comment section uh, below the blog. Thanks very much for watching.